everybody. It's Bird down here in St. Croix. Once again, it's another gorgeous day. I just got back from spin class about an hour ago. Took a shower because it was really, really hot. I'm just going to do a quick uh, mukbang real quick. Uh, it's going to be less than 10 minutes, which isn't a normal one. And I'm keeping the eye on the timer here. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So we went to the farmer's market and uh, they still had a lot of papaya, which is surprising this time of year. Uh, so I picked up a couple of those. You can see I already cut this one open. But, you know, it's a it's a fairly good size one. Not like the ones I usually get. But they smelled really good. So we'll give them a try here. So we do have an event coming up tomorrow. Um, which is called the Mango Melee down here in St. Croix. And it's basically, I mean, it sounds just like it is. <clears throat> it's an event just for celebrating the mango and how delicious it is, delicious they are. And, you know, you'll be able to eat. And then there's going to be a contest for like salsas and drinks, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, all kind of different stuff. Um, so I will be participating in that tomorrow with my mango salsa, which that video I will put in the description. I've already posted it on my channel. Um, so yeah, it's going to be everything mango, and I'll do a whole vlog of that tomorrow. So that'll be really fun and exciting, and I'm also going to enter the mango eating contest. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. I've been eating quite a bit of mango, and... You know, it's, I heard it's one-handed, um, and you have to eat 10 mangoes as fast as you can. So, we'll see how that goes. First taste test of the papaya. Mmm. That's a good one. Super sweet. A little bit of creaminess to it. All in all, that's, that's absolutely delicious. And I do have some other ones. Got another bag over there. I just thought we'd do some papaya and a little mango, you know. Kind of see where it takes us. Mm. Delish. So, in other news... I really don't know what to talk about, so it's uh, it's been very hot down here. Uh, the average daily temperature here in St. Croix is around 83 degrees throughout the year. And this week's been really hot. It's been in the low 90s, which I can hear people already griping that 90 is not hot, and it's really not. You know, we're in back in Texas. I was we were averaging you know 100, 110 degrees in the summertime. But that was a dry heat where I lived. Um, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, you know, places like that. The humidity is very much like here, but 100 degrees. But I will say the sun, the sun here, it it's really, really hot. And if, unless you've been to a, a tropical location like this, probably won't understand what I'm talking about. When you walk outside and you can just feel the sun just leaning on you, you know, it's uh, it's pretty rough. Also, I don't know if anybody does their own music and whatnot uh, for YouTube. All of my music, uh, I produce myself on my laptop or, you know, playing because I also play I play piano and drums and you know organ and some different instruments and whatnot but I got a DM or a copyright claim filed against me now I've got them before and they've always been fallacious they're so stupid because they it's a company on behalf of another company so if you ever get any of those just reply to them and nine times out of ten, they're just going to drop it. 
But this one, this this guy, he he said he's still on the right, which he's not because I've read and I went through over all the terms and conditions of using Apple Loops and using GarageBand and Main Stage Live and using all those. And you can't copyright those because it's royalty free. Now, there is a stipulation that you can't you can't sell individual loops as your own, obviously. But if you're using them for videos like I do, like when I do my snorkel videos or just any of the videos in general, I always make them myself. Um, and so don't don't let people on here try to bully you, you know, with their legal jargon and mumbo jumbo because they don't know what they're talking about. And I'll, I might do a video on that, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Stuff like that happens all the time, apparently. Mm. And just don't let people bully you. And it's it kind of sickens me um, because it does happen, and you know sometimes it happens to big YouTubers, and they lose a lot of money like that. I think YouTube should change its terms of uh, conditions and policies and all that to if you get a a claim like that and you're in the right, that company or that person that claimed against you should have to pay you for your time and the views that you've lost. Now I'm by no means a big YouTuber. I think the other day I hit like a dollar. So, but I've seen some people have a video taken down for 30 days. You know, they potentially lose thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. I don't know. I just think there's no protection. There's no protection for the person that's getting the claim against them. That's only protection for the person doing the claiming. I I, I really think it would cut down tremendously the amount of copyright claims. If if you lose, you have to pay for time lost on that video for views. Now, for me personally. It's not a big deal because um, I don't have 10 million views but you can see how it could really add up if someone you know did a claim like that and you weren't able to monetize that video and make money on it but this person and this is the funny thing I've, I've googled their name the song name and there's nothing on it I can find nothing and the song that I used the sounds came from GarageBand and the Apple loops but he I guess he's persistent that he is correct and I wrote him another email saying listen you cannot copyright an Apple loop it's not possible and by the way we don't even know what his actual song is. So I'm sorry if your song sounds like mine, but there's nothing you can do about it. So I guess the moral of that story is if you see a claim like that, fight back, send them a counterclaim to, because they're nine times out of 10 in the wrong. Um, when I first started YouTube, some of the, one of the very first videos I did, I used some old music that I had from CDs and such, not knowing that that would be copyright stuff. So I had to take that music down. And ever since then, I was like, well, I just I'll just produce my own. Mm. That's a really good one right there. Really super sweet. This papaya, papaya down here, when it first the season first started, it was around 250 a pound. Mm. Now it's ending, ending season, and it's about a dollar fifty a pound. And 
if you get 10 pounds or more, they usually do it for a dollar a pound, you know. You just gotta wheel and deal. If you if you've ever visited a place like this, don't be afraid to say, hey, let me buy 10 pounds for a dollar a pound. And usually they say okay because they wanna they wanna get out of there as fast as possible. Um Man, that's a really good one today. And I don't know the specific uh, type of papaya this is, but whatever it is, this is delicious, and it doesn't taste like anything from the store that I've gotten there. Oh, hello. A piece there. It's super sweet. I have had papayas. Previously, that have like a, and this is probably sound gross, it has like almost like a vomit taste. And it's real acidic, which not very good. Those are not good papayas. These taste nothing like that. These are super sweet, a little mild papaya flavor, but mainly just sweet and delicious. And these are good. So I believe I'm almost, my time's up. I'm gonna give it another minute and I'm gonna cut open one of these mangoes. But I just wanted to give you some thoughts and you know, stuff that's going on here. We'll do that mango right there. Nice kidney shape. Um, I did go to the tree that I picked all these from and that tree is completely done fruiting. So this, this, will be, this is the last of the, the mangoes that I get. Um, all in all, picked almost a hundred pounds worth from that tree. So, I mean, a very, very successful mango, mango time this year. These are, oh, these are amazing mangoes. Not the best here, but these are the ones in my past video that we did a taste test on. This is the mango that people associate mangoes with, not the other, the Namdok Mine, the Butterballs. This is like a true grafted mango. Mm. Sweet, juicy, classic deep mango flavor. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to continue eating breakfast. But just a quick breakfast mukbang. Thank you so much. Um, and you have a great day.